Hello, Internet. This is Scott with Scott's Garage, standing in my garage. And if you've watched my channel, you know that every once in a while my garage door hangs up. It doesn't close correctly. And I've troubleshot it. I've reinforced the, the door. Uh, I also uh, lubricated it uh, correctly. And by the way, if you want to see a video on how to lubricate a garage door correctly, see the link here above. And when I lubricate it, it works for, for months. But, but then it'll start hanging up again. And, and it's, it's done it again this week. The, the garage door is hung up. Now, if I push the button, it'll go back up again, uh, but it won't come back down. It gets stuck right there. So what I'm gonna do uh, in this video is I'm gonna troubleshoot a little bit. I've never checked to see if this garage door is square uh, or if it's skewed. And I have a hunch that it's skewed and that's uh, probably the main culprit for why it, it gets stuck. So what I'm gonna have to do now is disconnect the, uh, the pull the cord here and, and shut the garage door and I'll, I'll make some measurements and we'll see if it's skewed. Keep watching. Welcome to Scott's Garage. Welcome literally to my garage. Whether it's working on a daily driver or a project car or a project around the home or the yard or the patio, a pallet project, Scott's Garage is a place for do-it-yourselfers. Everything is do-it-yourself. Welcome to my channel. Okay, the door's shut. And what I'm gonna do now is you have to find two common points on each side and you wanna measure diagonally. Um, and that'll tell you if it's uh, square or, or skewed. And in, in looking at it, um, I, I think my tape measure would do well uh, right up there. And I'll put my tape measure in there, a nice solid place. And, and I'll stretch it uh, to this point and vice versa. Um, I'll take a measurement from, uh, from that point uh, to this point. So let's see what we find out. Okay, if I'm a fixed point up there, which is the same on, on each side, um, but, uh, to this here, that is 220 inches and one quarter. Okay, so that's diagonally, and we'll see what the other diagonal measures. So again, um, 220 and one quarter. Okay, on the opposite side, I'm putting the tape where it just uh, fits nicely there. There we go. I'm stretching it across this way. I need to grab the ladder here, one second. Okay, so it's quite a bit shorter this uh, direction. This is 219 and one half uh, inches. Okay, I've drawn it out here. So the garage door here and the garage door tracks are here and here. So this diagonal uh, is 220 and one quarter inch. This diagonal is 219 and a half. That means that there is a difference of three quarters of an inch, which I think is substantial. I, I think it could make a garage door skewed. And the, so instead of being like this, it's skewed like this, or maybe this is straight and, and this one is skewed, uh, but uh, we're figuring it out and we'll get these two lengths the same and we'll go from there. Okay, and eyeballing this, uh, I, I put these shelves in and I know they are straight and, and they're the same distance against the wall. But in, in looking up at the rail there, it's it's wider on this outside than than on the inside. You, you can uh, It's an obvious thing. And you can see that uh, where it's skewed. And so what I'm going to do is uh, take off the, the bolts there. And I'm going to try moving everything over one um, spot and we'll remeasure. By the way, my door is down. The weight is down there. So without the, 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 the door up here, you would never take this apart with the, the door up here. But uh, what's interesting to me is that as soon as I took the bolts off, um, it, there, there was pressure to go this way, um, which uh, tells me that um, you know, it's, it's meant to go over one. I think that's gonna um, make up the difference and take care of our problem. Um, we'll see. Uh, so uh, moving from there to there uh, on both sides and we will remeasure. Okay, so I moved it over. And now I am 
measuring it and it's at uh, 220 and about 3 eighths. And so it's, it's a lot closer uh, than before. I may have to assume that one, that side over just a little bit, but uh, we're gonna test this and just see if the garage door hangs up. Okay, it's time to test it. We first have to hook up the garage door again. If you've never done this, it's, it's very simple. Um, so the, the trolley is at the, this end. I'll be pushing the garage door button and it'll, make, it'll uh, send the trolley back down here. But I wanna make sure this is unlocked. So it's, it is in the unlocked position. Uh, you pull up and it locks it, but just make sure it's in the unlocked position. Uh, the trolley will move into place. Uh, we'll lock it in place and we'll open the door. Okay, it's in place there, and there we go. It's all locked and loaded and ready to go. Let's open the door. Okay, so it always opens uh, correctly. Um, it's when we, we shut it that's the problem. Hey, look at that, the guy walking on stilts. Hey, how's it going? You don't see that every day. All right, let's see if it, uh, if it shuts. Hey, it's hard to judge uh, just with opening and shutting the garage door uh, twice, uh, but it did go down, uh, which it wasn't doing before. But I'm gonna test it, test it for an entire week. And if it consistently opens and, and shuts without hanging up, I wanna say that uh, the main culprit of this garage door is that it was skewed. And hopefully this will take uh, care of the problem once and for all. And by the way, I, I need to, to, to uh, lubricate this garage door again. It's, it's been over a year, do it every year. Um, but uh, see the link here above if, uh, to correctly lubricate uh, your garage door. Hey, if you got any value at all from this video, please give me a like. It costs you nothing, but it's a great value to me. Um, and as always, have a great day.